Hello friends, this is Miss Sudi and today I am going to take you on a journey to the nature. This read that I have for you today is titled Insect Detective. It's written by Steve Voigt, illustrated by Charlotte Voigt. Right now, all around you, thousands of insects are doing strange and wonderful things. Wasps are building their nests, ants are collecting food, and dragonflies are reading for the hunt. But it's not always so easy to catch sight of these six-legged creatures. So, become an insect detective and find out just what insects around you are up to. Insect Detective, written by Steve Voyek, illustrated by Charlotte Voyek. Right now, all around you, thousands of insects are doing strange and wonderful things, but you can't always see them right away. Sometimes you have to know where to look. There are more insects living in the world than all the other animals put together. About 200 million insects for every single person. Listen, over by the fence, can you hear a scratching sound? A wasp is scraping away at the post with her strong jaws. She's collecting wood. She mixes it into a soft pulp in her mouth. When she has enough, she'll help the other wasps build a nest out of paper. Wasps often collect different kinds of wood which makes their nests look stripy, just like the insects who made them. Not all kinds of wasps live together. Many of them do. Insects that live together are called social insects. Ants always live together. They usually make their nests underground. Finding an ant's nest is easy. Find an ant, then follow it. It might stop to chat with some other ants along the way. Ants can communicate by touching their antenna together. But after a while, the ant will head home and you will be able to find out where it lives. Like all insects, ants have three main body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Solitary bees live by themselves. Solitary means alone. This female solitary bee is busy collecting food from spring flowers. She'll store it in her tiny nest so that it will be ready for when her eggs hatch. All insects start life as eggs. Solitary bees make their nests in holes in the ground, cracks in walls or in tiny cavities that have been left by other insects. Many animals like to eat insects for dinner, so some insects use camouflage to blend in with their surroundings. Look at this crinkly brown leaf. Can you see a crinkly brown herald moth too? They often rest in trees during the day so that birds won't see them. Insects have other ways of hiding too. See the squiggly lines on these leaves? They were made by a leaf miner caterpillar. The leaf miner protects itself by living between the top and the bottom layers of the leaves, a bit like hiding in a sandwich. Lift up a stone and you might see an earwig scuttle out. They like to hide in the damp and the dark. The pincers on the tip of their abdomens make them look kind of scary. But don't worry, they are completely harmless. Female earwigs are very good mothers. They work hard to keep their eggs clean, turning and washing them regularly. When the young hatch, their mothers bring them food and until they're old enough to look after themselves. Of course, you might find some creatures under there that aren't insects. Spiders, centipedes, wood lice, slugs. And once I found a baby frog. It's easy to tell whether something is an insect or not. All you have to do is count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it has six legs, it's an insect. If it doesn't, it isn't. 
If you are lucky, you might even find a colored ground beetle gleaming in the sunlight. It's like discovering a precious jewel. But ground beetles aren't just pretty to look at. They're excellent hunters too. At night, they go out hunting for slugs and snails, which makes gardeners very happy. Perhaps the greatest insect hunter of all is a dragonfly. Even the name sounds fierce, but don't worry, they won't come chasing after you. Dragonflies are much more interested in catching things like flies, mosquitoes, and gnats. Some will even snatch a spider from its web. On summer days, when the air is still, you can see their wings sparkling in the light as they hunt, twisting, diving, and plucking flies from the air. Dragonflies are fabulous flyers. They have two sets of powerful wings, which they can use to hover, change direction, and even to fly backwards. It's hard to believe they started life in the water. Dragonfly nymphs are the young, wingless versions of adult dragonflies. But dragonflies lay their eggs in ponds are slow-moving rivers where they hatch out into small dragonfly nymphs. A nymph sheds its skin many times until it is fully grown. Finally, it climbs out of the water and rests on the stem of a plant. As dawn breaks, its skin splits open and a beautiful dragonfly emerges, unfolding its wings and drying itself in the sun. The special change that takes place in insects' bodies are called metamorphosis. They happen in different ways as insects grow from eggs to adults. Sometimes when you think about these strange and wonderful things, moths hiding, ants talking, dragonflies changing, it's hard to believe that they could really be true. But you don't have to take my word for it. All you have to do is open the door and step outside. Be an insect detective and that's the end this no fiction book brought to life by the details and the illustrations will make any of us want to be an insect detective the insect world is so amazingly beautiful and intriguing. Hope you liked this realistic no fiction. See you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care. Bye!